Hello and welcome to another video. So today we are photographing mushrooms and I want to show you how I light my um, scene so I can get the image that I want. Now just quickly, um, I don't know, I, I might go back to b-roll, I don't know, but I just feel like less b-roll um, is better, it gets to the point quicker. Um, I might, I don't know, we'll see. Let me know in the comments what you think, whether you think you enjoy the B-roll. I mean, who wants to see somebody walking through the woods for 10 minutes? Um, is it better that I'm just all set up, ready to go? Um, let me know. So the way, the subject that I've got here, I've, I've just found these little group of mushrooms. I've actually walked through this forest and found them. Uh, there's a few down here, a few further down here, and I'll show you those in a second. There's a few different compositions that look quite good. But this one um, caught my eye because just because of the uh, moss that it's under, it looks quite good and it's the, about the right size for what I want. Um, the ones down there are a lot bigger mushrooms. Um, but over there, just over the other side, so the, this is a little bit of a section where the uh, trees have been felled and then they leave a section and then they fell another section. So in the section over, there's um, much more... Um, there's, there's a bigger abundance of mushrooms in that section. This section's got very few in it, so I've obviously set up in the wrong section. I'll come back and I'll go over there after I finish this. So for now, I just want to show you, um, my focus is on the, the front mushroom. And I've got my settings on, I'm on F11 and I'm on uh, three seconds, I think can't tell because it's upside down I think it's a three second or a third of a second and ISO 100 for this and that's going to give me this image Okay, so that, that's exposed um, fairly well with the ambient light. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some light to the scene and then see what it looks like. So this is the, the, what I use. I use the little aperture light and you can change the colour to whatever you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some orange just in front of this one. About... Yeah, so I'm using shutter release so I don't have to keep moving the camera and finding the trigger and that way I'm not disturbing my composition. So I'm just going to bring it in. So So about there, have a look at that one and see what you think between the two, the ambient and the orange. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of blue and see. Um, what I might do is put that on a tripod. We'll just have a look. blue and then this is with the blue and the orange combined so just I I like to use two different lights it gives me a, a wider range of uh, images I can come out with um, so if the background, so this one for example, the background's green and brown, um, 
so I've gone orange and blue just to sort of contrast that and sometimes if you went the same color as the mushroom uh, it can look quite nice and then other times it can look you know a bit too much so you just got to try and work it out as and when whatever your shot is so that's that's how I like mine uh, that's this one lit I'm gonna just spin around a different angle now and get it from the hillside uh, from the lower side up and uh, see how that looks and I'm gonna light it in a similar way so this time I've got the blue at the front and the orange coming in from behind and I'm gonna focus stack this image and see how that comes out and I'll pop the image up on the screen and uh, see what you think Okay, let's move on to the next scene. Okay, so there's a few mushrooms here, here, here. The little ones, I think these are just the newer ones, of the, the baby ones of these. These are the ones I'm after over here. I wanna try and clean up the area a little bit. I don't wanna to disturb too much. I don't wanna trample the mushrooms that are here aware of what's here and there is a few tiny ones just growing down here and here so there might be a few casualties but i'm going to try and avoid them so the thing you want to remember with macro is the everything's obviously size wise is intensified so the tiniest little twig in your shot is going to overpower or possibly overpower the scene so just removing any uh, contaminants whatever you want to call it debris just so it looks a little bit a little bit nicer I've got an air blower that I usually use when I'm doing like macro and you can just blow the air off blows off usually whatever's there but I haven't bought it today Whoa. okay okay so we do have a bit of um, moisture on the mushrooms still on the on the caps of the mushrooms and ordinarily I would use a polarizer but I took the step out rings out of my back step out step up rings out of my bag I haven't put them back in, so I don't actually have, well, I have the polarizer, I just don't have the uh, attachments for this specific lens. So just gonna have to go about. There's <sighs> not a lot I can do. Finger got them all. I'll pop the image up on the screen. Might have a go at this little one here. So it's just started 
raining and I'm just going to move to a different set of mushrooms, a little bit different looking ones. Hopefully the rain holds off uh, enough to get this final shot. Right, so I think I've got the last composition. Um, which is just down here. So, so you see the mushrooms here leading up to the edge of that tree branch. So when photographing anything from a low angle, well not anything, but when photographing uh, in, a, in this case mushrooms, but from a low angle, you want to try and get as either as low down to the, are you sideways? You know, like you're tipping over. You want to get try, you want to try and get as low down to the subject as possible, and even possibly shoot up for that sort of hero look. Um, it makes it a little bit more dramatic, makes it a bit more um, interesting to look at. So the lower you can get, the better the shot will look, but sometimes it's not possible. And if you haven't got a tripod that shoots upside down, then, and the other option is a flip front screen, one's of a screen that comes up, that'll be perfect because you'd be right down here and you don't have to get down low to it. That's it for this week's video. Um, it's not the exact video I wanted. I wanted to get a bit more of a, a thinner mushroom because I wanted to do some light, uh, not light painting, almost like paint, like light painting. Um, if I ever find them, I'll do a video on it. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, um, whether you felt this video was useful or not. Um, and as always, if you've enjoyed the content, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.